So Raj Singh, MD of JetBlue Technology Ventures. You're the venture unit of the airline JetBlue. Right. Talk to us a bit about how you see energy. Uh, you know, what are the venturing opportunities you see and how do you kind of play in energy? Yeah, um, it's obviously a very important topic and we think about it in a couple of ways. The first way is around how do we maximize our utility of energy today? Um, it's a process that is um, pretty ancient in terms of the way that we exchange information, uh, the way that we reconcile and account for what we use. Um, so that's really uh, an area for immediate improvement. That's still very paper-based, very analog. Exactly, exactly. And so the, you know, the effort to reconcile what actually has happened is a big one. And if we can eliminate that with the use of technology, big surprise, that would be very impressive. Um, so in some respects, therefore, it's kind of fintech play, or what is it? It's not so much a fintech play, it's more about um, can you move from a paper-based system that requires reconciliation to a sensor-based system that allows you to know what actually happened, and then let's say based on a smart contract, be able to deliver the money appropriately so everybody knows what the contract is, what actually happened, and therefore what needs to be paid. Okay. Um, so just making life easier for everybody. Right. Um, but then beyond that, we think about things like um, biofuel, um, so obviously uh, aviation and travel in general has an impact on the environment. How do we reduce that impact or eliminate it? Um, there's carbon offsets as well, which we talk about. And then longer term, can we switch to other sources of energy which might be even more environmentally friendly and potentially have other impressive effects such as reduction of noise and the reduction of um, um, the waste that might be uh, involved. So we're thinking here more about um, using electricity, so that's clearly something that's happened on the ground and it's going to happen in the air, we believe. And then more exotically, things like uh, hydrogen and other sources of energy, all of whom have issues. So um, you know, for us, it's not just about the energy source per se, it's also about the storage and the distribution of it. So it's power that can be delivered because it may well be you have a lovely electric airplane, but can that electric airplane get the power that it needs to be able to fly. Yeah, so it's about where you recharge those batteries to some extent. Yes, um, so battery technology is on the edge of being applicable now and will probably improve on a slow curve but enough to be able to be usable. The question is, for it to be economical, you need to be able to fly a certain number of missions uh, per hour with a certain number of people. If you can't charge your batteries fast enough or get the power for the batteries, you won't be able to do that. Okay. So you're investing in travel, you know, yep. not, not, you wouldn't describe yourself as a pure play aviation investor. Uh, so to what extent are you frightened of competition from autonomous vehicles, an autonomous vehicle that might comfortably take you from, I don't know, San Francisco to Las Vegas? Uh, and to what, how do you venture to um, defend yourself, if you like, against that a potential threat? Right. Um, I wouldn't use the word frightened, but certainly we're aware of the threat. And, um, you know, it's always the case that the customer has a choice in the way that they travel. So it's up to us to understand what the implications are of autonomy. Um, we do believe it's something which is coming, but it hasn't come yet. Uh, and if it is the case that it arrives relatively soon, how are we positioned to compete with it? So there are pluses and minuses. Generally speaking, on our side, the pluses are speed um, and getting you to where you want to go in a relatively quick amount of time. Uh, on the negative side, you've got security and the processes that you hurry up and wait at the airport. So um, we are interested in that. I would say that we also, it's a, not only a case of competition, it's also a case of potential collaboration. So one of the things that's very interesting for us is the seamless journey whereby we partner with ground-based transportation to bring people to the places we are because we don't believe that the energy will be there or the power will be there to do long haul anytime soon. And so we're going to partner with people on the ground uh, in order to get people to the places where we are so they can go long haul flights as well. So there is some competition. It's definitely a threat um, and it's something that we're interested in learning more about. But there's also an element of let's work together.